this was the first kind of a, uh, operation I ever heard of. There are so many young black men who make inspiration a habit. Now there's an opportunity to be me to shed light on these men. My name is Eric Williams. My name is Daryl Redman. Dr. Sean L. White. My official title is moderator for the Philadelphia College Prep Roundtable. I'm a writer, a mentor. I'm pastor of the True Rock Church. I'm founder and creator of Project Elijah Empowering Autism. A Detroit City Councilman. Executive Director of the Brightmore Alliance. Solomon Jones, author. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, born and bred on the west side of Detroit. Knight Foundation was interested in doing 1,000 videos of African-American males from the city of Detroit who were doing great work. Uh, I heard that they were trying to start an initiative that would highlight the good things about the relationships that young black men have with black men in our communities. The grant process was particularly easy. The Knight Foundation was very good at providing help to people who never filled out a grant application before. Uh, you have many time uh, initiatives that come about and they're here to highlight and well, just to bring uh, attention and then they're out. Uh, but the Be Me campaign really, uh, what it does is it really showcases the, the men in the community that are already doing great work. And I think it's important for us to do what we can to inspire our children and have them to understand that, you know, as, as they grow up, we want them to look like and do the same things that we're doing. Right. Good job, good job. High five, you can get a high five for that one. Uh, all right. The program which I run is called Amachi. I am the managing executive director and founder of the Brothers Network. I'm working right now for the Inside Out program at Temple University. The Brothers Network is engaged in uh, networking with African-American men in the city of Philadelphia around art, culture, dialogue, and discourse. Uh, Amachi is a program that seeks to find a loving, caring adult to spend one hour once a week for at least one year with a child who has a parent in prison. The thing which I admire most about the BME uh, project is the fact that they work through existing organization and communities. So this is on Joy Road in Northwest Detroit. In the fame shop. And it's a collective of uh, artists, designers, musicians. Having a Be, Be Me Challenge coming to the city like Detroit is really amazing. Uh, and, and what I really enjoy about it most is that it's not this missionary mentality that they brought to the table. We don't need to be saved, we need resources so that we can continue to do the work. Well, we're Detroit Public Television, and so, if you will, our goal in life is to put the public into Detroit Public Television. When we were approached by the Knight Foundation, could we support the Be Me effort? It was a natural. When I heard about a, a project that would be utilizing barbers to help educate young people in the community, I was extremely excited. And what it is is basically um, a program where we're trying to test the feasibility of health promotions interventions in, in barbershop settings. We wanted to try to find a real world approach to try to create some change. People are excited about the BME Challenge, specifically brothers who have been looking for support for their work. It has brought us together to work in a way that in previous years we may not have. We may have known of each other, but we were not around the same kitchen table talking. Now we are all around the same kitchen table talking. There is this one something we all can galvanize around. This is a great beginning for us. This is a great stepping off point, And we will be able to sustain this movement. 